Bay game on April 30th. Questions for Coach Walsh? Thanks for the hustle, Coach. <laughs> can you uh, anything for the program? Can you can you talk to us about whose idea it was to go with the no huddle, and what the reasons are to do the no huddle? Well, I think number one, I think that uh, you know you're always looking for ways that you can improve yourselves, either schematically or personnel-wise in the offseason. And we thought uh, the no huddle is a good addition uh, to what we do on offense. If you think about the triple option and think about it all the things, the complexities of it to defend it. Now, if we're doing it at a pace, which we need to improve upon, but we, now we're doing it at a pace that can really, uh, hopefully, probably some missed assignments on the defensive side of the football. And uh, Brian Cook uh, asked if he could go visit some places. He did that, and I think there was uh, a lot of great things that have come out of it so far. Uh, talk about, is there is there one guy that you can point to that's been the most pleasant surprise for you this spring? Well, I think Deontay Williams has showed well, and uh, I think he's going to be a good football player. The guy that I probably would say, though, is Brandon Machakowitz. That wide receiver has done a tremendous job. I uh, probably should mention Carl Winkleman as well. Carl Winkleman has done a great job as an offensive tackle for us. Health-wise, is, can, you, can you summarize kind of how things are going? I wish. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's just that the health thing is, you know, it's always going to be an issue in the spring, and I know our coaches are competitive and they want the best players to play, but really, it truly is a time for us to see if we can get the depth thing fixed for it, for our football team. And that's playing a lot of young players in the spring, and that's the opportunities they get. So a guy, unfortunately, like uh, Scott Wynn Weiss, who has been out, yeah, he's out for the spring, he's going to miss the spring. He's not going to miss any games next year. So, And we know what Scott can do. So he's a good example of what kind of I'm talking about, and that gave Carl Winterman all the opportunities that he's got in offensive tackle. And that's going to make us a better football team. I was going to ask, and you, you kind of answered it a little bit. We said Brian Cook has gone other places in developing your new offense. I was going to say, who did you consult with? Or did people come to you? Or? No, Brian, our, our offensive staff visited Oregon and visited Air Force Academy. So they went to those two places. Uh, to, like I said, it's to try to make yourself better in the offseason. Look at some things schematically of what we are doing. Look at what other people are doing. And see if we can come up with something that fits and helps us become a better offensive football team. How's the team work? Pardon? How's the team win? I think they love it. <laughs> but that was my point at the end of the scrimmage on Saturday. The point to them was, because it, it, it's kind of, a, it's very interactive. I mean, everybody's looking over to the sidelines and all those things that are going on over there to make sure they're on the same page. Uh, so we let them have a lot of input into some of those types of things, not the actual play structure, but into some of the things like the how we signal the plays or what the pictures are on the poster board and all those things. And, and I think they enjoy it and I think they enjoy the pace. But the point that has to be made to them is we are a triple option team still. And to be honest with you, we didn't execute it real well on Saturday. And part of that is what we're trying to cause our defense, maybe we cause ourselves a little bit. And we refine some things, even after Saturday's scrimmage, we refine some things on the triple option side of it that, uh, you know, we were going so fast that the defense wasn't even lined up right. So therefore, some of the things we're supposed to be looking at as a quarterback were blurry, so to speak, and therefore he made some mistakes. So we've learned some things about the triple option and how it fits into the speed that we want to play with with the no-hill offense. What changes have been are you making schematically and defensively? Defensively, they've great visit at Boise State, and uh, there's probably going to – there have been uh, a couple of new pressures and, uh, and probably one new front that we've, uh, that we've put in there. And I think that's going to help us too. You know, uh, when you're 14th in the nation in rushing defense, I don't know how much more we want to do. I mean, you got to look at – you're always looking at that part of the picture is – how much more do I want to do or do we need to do in order to be what we want as a football team? And hopefully that's a playoff football team at the FCS level.